Hello and welcome back guys. So now let's look at the query builder. So of course you can always head over to laravel.com and search in database area. Make sure you're on the correct version here. Search in the correct area in the database area and look for query builder. Then you get to see because there's so much stuff here. What I'm going to cover in here is just scratching the surface. So just to get you started. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, view we created last time. And this is the list customers. So let's go to list customers. And then we get to this point where we list all customers from our database. Now, the way we are doing this is if I go to the customer controller, you will see that when we are listing our customers, this is how we are getting all the results. But let's try now to use something else. So we're going to use the DB directly, like we had done a few videos ago. So in order for, for us to use the query builder, we need the DB class here and we have to import the DB class. Now the DB class is inside illuminate and support and then facades. That is the, uh, the namespace that it belongs to. So let's just duplicate this one right here because otherwise if we try to use DB here directly, it's going to say unknown uh, DB. So maybe let me do that so that we can see how things progress step by step. So I'll go to the list, uh, where is this? List customers right here. So the usage is as follows. So we're just going to ignore this, uh, the model here. So let's, let me, let me mute that. And then I'm just going to say result like, uh, like that result is equal to, let's use DB like that. And the thing is, because we are not using a model anymore, we must specify the table that we are reading from. So we'll say table like that. And the table is customers like so. And then what do we say? We say get like that. So now it's going to get every record because we did not specify a WHERE clause here. So let's see what happens when we do that. So let's go back here and see what errors we get. So if I refresh here, of course it's going to tell me app control as DB not found. Hmm. That's because it's looking inside the controller, uh, the controller namespace. So let me duplicate this one and let's change this one to um, support. And then let's go to facades and DB like so. Let's remove that. Now, how exactly did I know where to get this? Well, like I said, you can go to the docs and it's going to tell you right there. So use illuminate support facades db. So the docs are your friend. So once we have that, if I now refresh, oh, syntax error. Let me see where we have the syntax error. The slash, I guess here is the wrong one. So let's use that. Refresh again, and that now we have a different error. So it's saying, cannot use object of type standard class as an array. So a class or an object cannot be used as an array. And the file we are doing that in is in the list customers.blade.php. So if I scroll down here, it's going to highlight the part where the error is, which is right here. So I'm guessing this is the part with the problem, even this one here, because we're trying to read the row as if it's an array, but it's actually an object. So if you do want to see what the result is here and why it's refusing like that, you can always print it out. So right here we can say print readable like so, 
and put our result in there. But in uh, in order for it to be more human readable, we are just going to do echo some pre tags like so. Okay, so if I now refresh, this is what I get. Okay, so this is definitely an object, and because it's an object, it's got objects in there as well. It's got an array of objects. So these must be treated as objects in here and not arrays. Okay. So let me remove this. And now, so instead, what we will do is we go to our view. Where is our view? So this is the list customers.blade.php. And then right here, wherever there is this, we're supposed to replace that with an arrow. So I'm going to select that and hit Control D to select all the instances of this on this page and put the arrow instead. So hyphen, uh, then greater. Is that greater than? Yeah, greater than. And then I want to select this one again. Select all instances and delete it. Okay. So now we are reading these as we would be reading objects. So let me come back here and refresh the page. And now everything reads as normal. Okay, great. Now let me come back here again. So what's happening here now is that it's reading everything. But what if I want to just get one item by ID, right? So what I will do is there are several ways I can say find. This only works if I'm using the ID as uh, the criteria to find. So I just want record with ID of two like that. So let me come back here and refresh. Okay, so we have another problem here saying attempt to read property name on int. Okay, so it's telling me that I'm trying to read the property name on an integer. So if I come down here, I will see that here I'm trying to read name. Meanwhile, this is an integer. So let's try to figure out why this is happening. So again, I'm simply going to mute these guys because it seems I will be needing them quite a bit. So pre tags. And then I'm just going to say print readable results like so. And let's see what result we are getting. So now, as you can see, we're not getting an array of objects. We're just getting one object. So in our case, what we must get rid of is the um, is this loop right here because we cannot we're trying to loop where there is no loop so it's data here and uh, if I probably remove this like so and then change raw to data let me just copy all that references to data like this it's going to work because now we are accessing the item directly and there it is let me let's see it properly if I come back here and mute these guys like so okay so there we go that's one way to do it okay then also what we can do now another way of doing it is to create an array let me undo this undo the for each loop like that and then come here I can instead say uh, let's bring this back here uh, I can add this to an array so I can say instead a I just create a random uh, variable is equal to result but instead I make sure that this is an array I'm adding one item to this array and then I put a over here so now even though it doesn't return an array I'm creating an array of objects although there's just one object in there 
which is the same as retrieving one item. So if I refresh, it still works, even though I have the for each loop on the other side. Hopefully that's understood. So, so far we can use, let me keep the ones that I have already used before. So I'll just keep these like so. So this one is get, That's what, that was the first one like this, oops. So you can use the get to get everything and then you can use the find to use the ID, but also you can use the where clause. So how do we use the where clause? We say customers and then here we say where. Now here we can choose any column. So let's try the ID once more and say ID, put a comma, and the ID number, like so. Let's try three this time. So let's see if we need this in this case. So refresh. So we don't need that, apparently. Oh, where is the problem? Yes, still there. Yeah. Again, same problem. So we don't need this anymore. So what I will do is do that. We can simply put the result directly here. Like so. Okay. Refresh. Oops. Undefined property name. Uh-oh. What's happening? Well, maybe I forgot the get. Let's see if we add get here. If that sorts the problem out? Yes, it does. Okay. So that's the third way of getting things. So now this advantage of this one is you can use any column. So you can use the name column, for example. Here it's Mary. Let's try John. So here I can say, name and then put John over here like so okay refresh and there we go we get John's record so we can get any of those we can use email etc etc and that will work just fine so these are the ways you can replace uh, doing this you can use just the get you can use find to get a single thing, but keep in mind that this returns one object, whereas this one returns an array of objects. So that's why we had to do all these gymnastics here. And also you can use the where clause to find a very specific item, but this one returns an array of, a, of objects because it's very possible that there could be many items with the ID of three, or maybe there could many, be many items with the column name of John, with a name in the uh, name column of John. So this is why this one retains an array and this one, this is the only one that retains, uh, returns directly an object. Okay, so in the next video, let's look at how to use, to replace the delete and the update, and also how to insert because this is the select, so how to insert, how to delete, and how to update. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.